Welcome to Introduction to the Hebrew Scriptures, Theology 251. I'm Professor Sarah J. Melcher. This is a photograph of me, in case you want to see who you're dealing with. I'm an Associate Professor of Hebrew Scriptures, and you can hear my dog in the background, so you know I have a dog. I'm Chair of the Department of Theology at Xavier University. My specialties are disability in the Bible, sexual practice in the Hebrew Bible, and African American biblical interpretation. Theology 251, Introduction to the Hebrew Scriptures, is one of my favorite courses to teach. And just so you know that I'm qualified to teach it, I'll tell you that my PhD is from Emory University in Hebrew Bible. This is a map of Kansas, and what does a map of Kansas have to do with introduction to the Hebrew Scriptures? Well, I'm going to point to this town called Newton, Kansas. It's a small town. That's where I'm from. So, And this is Main Street of Newton, Kansas. Not much to look at, but it was home to me for many years. And this is Sand Creek, beautiful little creek that ran through the middle of town in Newton, Kansas. Okay, back to the topic at hand. So what is the Hebrew Bible? Well, it's part of the sacred scriptures for both Judaism and Christianity. In Christian circles, it's known as the Old Testament. In a Jewish context, it's called the Tanakh. That's Tanakh. <laughs> Biblical scholars call it the Hebrew Bible to try to be inclusive toward both traditions. And here are the goals for the course. First, of course, participants will learn about the content in the Hebrew Bible. But since the Hebrew Bible is huge, 750 pages in one translation and 1,100 in another, we cannot cover the entire volume in one summer course, especially if we want to study any of the passages in depth. So we'll be looking at a selection of biblical books, reflecting types of literature, and representing an overview of Israel's history. We will also learn methods that biblical scholars use to study biblical texts, for the primary purpose to gain better understanding of biblical passages. In addition, we will explore some of the historical and sociological circumstances in which the texts were produced and for those events which are depicted in those texts. Finally, and most importantly, students will learn how to use the Hebrew Bible in doing theological reflection. Together we will analyze some of the Im important theological themes that one can encounter when reading biblical passages. We will be grappling with major theological concepts that have shaped Jewish and Christian tradition. Students will also explore guidelines for various denominations and how to interpret the Bible within particular faith contexts. And let's talk about student learning outcomes, which are more concrete goals for the course. By the end of this online course, which will run from July 2nd to August 10th, 2012, students will have a comprehensive introductory level knowledge of a large portion of the Hebrew Bible. Students will have learned some methods of biblical criticism which will enable them to interpret scripture on their own. Students will know what biblical exegesis does and how its use can aid interpretation. Participants will know most of the major events in ancient Israel's history, including the settlement of the land, the institution of the monarchy, life under monarchic rule, the overthrow of the northern and southern kingdoms, and the Babylonian exile. 
Students will also learn how the Bible acts as one conversation partner in theological reflection, along with tradition and human experience.